What is good, Grey Gang? We're here today, me and Ethan. We are going turkey hunting in this video. But before we go turkey hunting, we still gotta check all of our gear, go scouting a little bit, pattern our shotgun. Drink a root beer. But without further ado, guys, let's just get right on into it. Let's check out our turkey gear. Right here on the table, or truck bed, whichever one you wanna call it, doesn't really matter, we have our turkey gear. Or at least some of the main stuff, which would be calls, decoys, his turkey vest. I travel a lot around here. Uh, I've hunted since I was a little kid, and my papa has hunted for close to four thousand years. Yeah, pretty much. Just based off experience, I just carry the essentials, what I need. And just as an overview, we have a box call. We have a, another box call, but a different top. Then we have a glass call. A glass call, and Slate then this call. call. That's an owl call. Oh, never mind. right here are decoys that we have. Pull them out, show them. This is Rhonda, and this is Ronaldo. We got a girl turkey, which is a hen. We have a boy turkey, but a young boy turkey, which is a Jake. But yeah, as for our equipment, that's what we're using. I'm actually gonna be hunting with my Remington 870. I done a video about it a long time ago. Check that out if you want to. It's kind of hard to watch, but as for now, we went over the gear. Let's load up the Defender. We're gonna go scout a little bit. And if we're lucky, we may even get one to gobble. Roll them on talk. some of the signs. We know this spot's pretty good because, well, one, we got turkey prints. These are pretty old. I don't know much about the size or uh, how to tell if it's a boy or girl. Do you? No, not by track. I'd imagine the bigger tracks are the bigger turkeys, which are probably the boys, but they're right there. I'd, I'd say it's a decent size track. There it is compared to my shoe, but it's a sign. Got a few uh, locator calls that we may be able to make them shot gobble with. Go ahead and grab those calls, whichever one you want to use. We actually have a crow call. But you can use a crow or anything loud like that. Blow it one time and we'll see if we can get him down here in this hollow to gobble. Ah, 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 ah. Do you hear him? I heard him. Down there? Yeah, he's way down there, but I heard him. Ah, 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 ah. Try the alcohol. We'll see what we can do with that. You hear him? Yeah. Just Tell you where he's at, too. Where? He's straight down there. There's a bluff right there. He's right over the bottom of that bluff. Anyways, guys, we're going to circle around to the bottom of the hill and see if we can get a little bit closer on him. That way we can really hear him really defined on here. I want you guys to be able to hear what he sounds like. Then we got to get back to the house and pattern my shotgun. We can get closer. Bro, he's close. Yeah, he That's is. a different one, too. That's four turkeys so far. There's one here, here, and back over there. And one way over here. There might be two over there. There might be two. Let's get a little bit closer. Alright guys, so uh, we stopped in here. I was just looking, you know, turkey season's coming up. I didn't think I was going to be buying a turkey gun. I'd planned on just using my 870 that I got from Walmart. Man, there's a there's a gun over there in the bottom field. Let's leave it where to get a little. Hand it over here. Well, actually, tell us what it is first. So, it's a 3-inch Impala Plus automatic. It's super smooth. Uh, obviously, it's camo for yeah. all of your pleasure. Uh, but it's actually got a decent sight system on it. And uh, you got somebody who's not used to shooting an automatic and you mm -hmm. don't want to bump fire. You can actually take this, mm -hmm. turn it to the off wow. position, and then it doesn't cycle all the way back. Wow. So it won't allow it to load a new round. I picked it up a minute ago, but the first thing I noticed is that one, it's camo and it's a 26 inch barrel. But the biggest thing about that is that it's really lightweight. Like it doesn't weigh anything at all. And it's not three and a half inch, but honestly, I don't I don't know if I'd want to shoot three and a half inch. I don't know if I need that that much. And it's got that, so it's ready for a red dot if we wanted to put it on. In order to get this thing ready for turkey, we need a choke and ammo. Badwoods always comes through, dude. You duck hunting? 
Nope. I'm just saying, if, if I you did, wanted to get into it, that'd be a real gun. This would be a really good pattern for it. We're at Bad Woods right here. Bad Woods Outdoors, 2709 Cumberland Falls Highway. It's one of the best outdoor stores in Corbin. We're not in the Corbin We're not area. kidding whenever he said that. Like Ethan bought the weirdest gun on the planet. Weirdest caliber. Two stores had it. One store was double the price of normal, and these guys had. Let's go get you started on your work, man. Up here a little bit on the light and stuff, but uh, most of your uh, hard baits and stuff like that are going to be on the side. Hope you enjoy it, man. We'll see ya. What'd you get? Got camo. It is camo. Can't hardly see it. Also, shout out to the flood because uh, my truck's muddy now. We don't like that. Very muddy. <laughs> Before we go shoot those clay pigeons, literally, giant shout out to Badwoods. Also, big shout out to my mud once again for focusing the camera but bad woods right here in corbin i don't know what it is but they always have what we need okay guys we're back in the house right now instead of going out to walmart or something and paying money for targets i have a computer i have a printer we're just gonna look up turkey target and just print one off i remember one year i printed off this exact one and that's not a bad one at all let's see what's another cool one i could print that one off which one are you thinking because these are all pretty cool ones just a good one with like his head and neck let's print those I think I'll go with this one for old time's sake. How do I print it? All right, guys. So uh, it's uh, honestly I don't know how much the ink cost, but I imagine that's cheaper than one you can buy at Walmart. Now let's go outside and we'll shoot it around. Some. All right, guys. So we just got done printing off those targets. Here's the gun we're gonna do. We're gonna do 15 yards with just standard bird shot, so like the cheap shots you can get at Walmart, just to see what the overall pattern is, if maybe the gun somehow is like shooting to the left, I'll at least know it. It has iron sights, so there's not much I can change. But then we're gonna shoot the turkey loads with the turkey choke at 30 yards and 45 yards. So we're stretching it out a lot, but we're gonna see what the pattern is. But first thing we gotta do is put the turkey choke in it. I got this one right here. I don't really know that much about turkey chokes, but I heard this is a good one, so I went ahead and bought it. The thing about a turkey choke versus like a full choke is quite a bit of a difference. This is like, I guess like an extra full or maybe even extra, extra, extra full, I don't know. But yeah, we can drop it in there, screws in just like any other one. And now my pattern is gonna be a whole lot tighter than anything else I would shoot. Crank it in there pretty good, we're rocked and ready to go. Let's go set up this first target at 15 yards and then we'll see how it does with the bird shot. The choke looks good on that shotgun. It does, it does look good. Along with the KG sling I put on it, it really helps out where it's camo with black little accents on it. And the choke does too. Let's see, I'll come in here. that will be good enough to figure out what's up. Hopefully. All right. We'll go ahead, bird shot in. I'll sit down on the bucket, take a real nice shot. We're saying for right on the neck. See where the feathers turn red right there? Yeah. The feathers meet the red right there. All right, here we go. All right, so uh, looking right here, if we have a turkey at 15 yards, I don't even need turkey shells and I can take him out. But I was aiming right in there and he hit maybe an inch high and to the right. Now obviously he's still a dead bird, but maybe on this next shot, maybe I'll aim right in here and we'll see what we can do. But now we'll try the actual turkey shells at 30. Average range right here with the turkey shells. Three inch turkey loads. Tick a little bit harder. A little bit harder. This time the pattern looks like it's a little bit more on the left. But that's the thing about a shotgun is that it patterns and I, Kendall Gray, have a little bit more room for error. Now is it amazing? Not really. Right there we got four pellets in the kill zone. That ain't that ain't too hot. I wasn't compensating either. I was holding right on it. I don't know, let's try 45. Alright. That's a pretty good shot. I think I should be able to hit that though. Yeah think he's dead i don't know i hope so it's up to the shotgun i guess he ain't dead at all yeah he's dead barely we got one two three three shots in the kill zone nice what do we think about that you can do it or you can switch up to the long beard xrs will do better but for what we got right now it's not great is it no but it's not bad you're still gonna kill it it'll have to work because that's all we got right now yeah that's what we got so far we got good decent all right And as for that, I think we're pretty much done until the day of turkey season. So we will see you guys early opening day. Now I hate to 
kill the vibe and everything, but I'm just gonna let you know up front, since I was turkey hunting, I didn't talk a ton, so I'm just gonna be jumping in here like this and telling y'all what happens as the video continues. Back to the montage. even a coon dog it's just a normal dog leave us alone oh my gosh where are we gonna go to now bro well, that was nice we got busted by a dog at least the dog thinks our decoy looks good we's in a good spot too where did it even come from i don't know probably behind us what's the plan now though we just pretty much walk around hopefully we hear one that we have a good chance in this field up here maybe all right guys we've moved locations we're gonna call a bit and see if we can get one to respond. If we do, we'll go to him. If not, we'll move some more and keep looking. Way over that way. He's way over there too. Yup. Right, we'll try a spot over here and we'll see if we can get anything over here. I guess. So we don't have any turkey rubs, so that's a good sign. If you got a turkey that's rubbing on a tree, you best just stay out of that area. Really? They're mean. Really? Yeah, cause they got antlers. Oh. That's a rough chicken right there. Right now we're on the top of a mountain. What we've been hearing is all on the bottom of the mountain. At this point, we were just having a hard day, guys. I mean, we got in there. I had to wake up at like 2 o'clock in the morning. Not a fan of that at all. Just letting you know that. But we got there, set up good spot gobbles all around us. Mainly just in front of us. But there was a bunch of them. Next thing I know, big cur dog stinking outfit just sitting there barking at us. So we left. <laughs> No. All right, guys, looks like it's time to move on to plan B. We wasn't hoping this was going to happen, but we always knew it was a possibility. But that plan B is going to be, well, obviously going back in the evening, but also we're going to take a blind this time. Now, I had this blind. A lot of y'all probably remember whenever I bought it back in deer season. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I barely remember it. But we had it for deer season. Didn't really use it that much, but we're actually going to use it for turkeys. And here's why. The main reason you don't have to have a blind for turkey hunting, but you almost have to have a blind for turkey hunting and filming because we had three cameras to worry about. And two of us. And like that, maybe. And I, I think that's it. I don't know. I don't know how the rest goes. That's as far as I got. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> Good job. I bet Mammy would know what to do. I will say this. It's a little bit too big to take into the field with us right now. We gotta figure out how to get it small. I bet Mammy would know. Bad. Wait, is this it? <laughs> yeah. There we go. Dude, look. And then it just packs up just like that. That's pretty nice. That's very nice. So we're just going to set this thing right in there. Yeah, we got that. We got a chair. We'll go get Ethan a chair. Then we'll be ready for this evening. Evening hunting is a little bit different than morning hunting. But we'll explain that to you once we actually get down there and get set up. Okay, guys. We are in the blind right now. Evening hunting for turkeys is different than morning. In the, in the morning, you're more or less trying to call them to you. 
But on the evening, they don't really care about that as much because they've already got their disco going all day. You're really wanting to catch them on their way back to the roost. We know that they're going to want to roost up here on top of the hill, but there's also a really grassy field right here which has a ton of scat and tracks in it. So we know that they're probably going to be heading back up to the top of the hill to roost and there's a good place for them to eat right here too. So that's the plan. We got a few decoys out over there. That way, you know, we can kind of get them to go in that direction. And then right here, that's my kill hole. Our hunt. No, we're still good. So we hunted in the field. We waited. Nothing came at all except for that uh, side by side. And there was about six people jamming as loud as they could right through our hunting spot and right out of our hunting spot. We was in a big old blind just set up in the field. I still don't think they saw us, okay? They were not all there. The hunt was over. Now it's time for the next morning. The next morning I hunted at least. I didn't hunt on the Sunday. <laughs> All right, now this one was important, okay? We switched locations, completely different terrain. We went from big mountains to massive fields. Reminded me of Kansas. Never even been to Kansas. But anyways, we looked across this gigantic field. We could see a turkey. And I'm talking, it was about the size of this. All you could see is way out there. You could see a little black dot. And he's like, that's probably a turkey. Here's what happens. Boys, it's our it's our last chance right here. Season's not over, but the day pretty much is. How many hours we got? It's an evening hunt, so we got three hours left. Let's go hit it hard. Let's let's get serious now. Let's get serious now. We got one of us that's uh, about ready to go to bed, but he will not be named. Yeah, here we go. Well, let's see what we can do, balls. Thanks for watching part one of the turkey hunting series, but do you want to see a KG vlog that's never been shown anywhere before? 
and won't be shown anywhere else? Well, if you do, let me tell you how you can watch it. If you go down in the description of this video, there's going to be a link. And if you click that link, it's going to take you here. This is a landing page. At this landing page, all you have to do is put in your email address, submit it, and then I'm going to email you the specific link so that you can watch the video. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm creating a little email group. And in this email group, I'm going to be able to share exclusive videos with you like this one that I'm doing right now. I'm going to be able to tell you about sales that's coming up and let you guys be the first to know about new KG merch drops. Just go to that page, put your email in First it. First and foremost, you got to watch that video. Here's a little clip of it. <laughs> It was a wild video, okay? It was a fun one. There's a lot of things that happened. But yeah, to watch it, just first link in the description, fill out your email, submit it, and that video is going to be sent right to you. As for the turkey hunting video, stay tuned because we have a part two coming. This turkey season is not over yet.